Today we're going to aim to find the perfect breast in a peer-reviewed article in PRS. Mimicking the experiment performed in this British paper, we took to social media with a pole and put some plastic surgery resins and others in front of the camera. We wanted you to see how their opinions stacked up against the 1,300 respondents in this peer-reviewed study. Showing some of the same images that the authors presented, we asked a small focus group which image shows the ideal breast. Here's what they had to say. Um, looking at the four pictures, uh, for me I think the top left, the uh, 4555 uh, picture is probably the most uh, aesthetically appealing. I would be inclined to select this upper left image as my preferred nipple location and orientation. Okay, 50.50, .50, the second picture. Uh, 45.55. I think 45.55 is the ideal. I believe that the image in the top right corner is closest to the ideal breast shape. Upper left hand corner, 45.55. 45.55. Uh, this one, the second one, or the 50.50? I believe that the 45.55, the upper left corner breast, is probably the most ideal. Um, it seems to have a, a youthful appearance to the breast and the nipple position, look like it's grade one ptosis. Um, or grade zero ptosis where the nipples are positioned above the inframammary fold um, and uh, it just appear to have sort of a more youthful, uh, firm appearance. As it is slightly upturned, um, so you have a perfect youthful appearance. Um, and whereas some of these other ones, especially this lower one in particular, seems to face downward a little bit and may give a false impression of uh, breast ptosis. Um, it seems to be the nipple on it seems to be positioned correctly. Um, it's not pointed up or down or um, and, it, and the balance of the breast seems to be in the right position. Uh, that shape is good. Uh, it looks uh, the form it just sits well. It looks like it, it's uh, shapely and uh, firm and it looks like it sits on, on the body well. Like this person looks young, um, and the shape is very natural. There's not kind of a bubble. It feels like it just slopes down really nice. And the nipple is pointed up, but not too far up, like the 35, 65. That feels a little unnatural. The position of the nipple areola complex in the vertical dimension gives the impression of greater upper pole fullness, and the nipple points neither too far superiorly nor too far inferiorly. So the overall proportions of the breast appear balanced. I think it's, um, I guess it's perky enough and it's a turned up nipple. It doesn't have any acute angles, it's a gentle slope in the upper pole. The nipple is uh, slightly uh, upward facing, giving it a more youthful appearance, no um, even slight inkling of having any ptosis. Um, looks nice and perky and the nipple looks like it's right in the right spot going out not up not down not strange looking not too big not too small at least to me um it looks like the nipples are pointing the wrong direction in all the other ones honestly <laughs> that's the honest answer these anecdotal results compiled or coupled with our informal online poll are in line with the results in this month's study. Is there such a thing as a perfect breast? Tell us what you think by leaving a comment here and joining the study by taking our quick poll on prsjournal.com. An overwhelming majority of people, regardless of ethnic backgrounds, genders, and age groups, and regardless of medical backgrounds, selected the same ideal breast, or the perfect breast, if there is such a thing. The key feature that unified everyone's preference was nipple positioning, a 45 to 55 ratio. Placing the nipple just above the center seems to be preferred and that which actually shows a little bit of inframammary fold uh, fullness. Stay tuned as we continue to explore and expand plastic and reconstructive surgery.